So you want to build a beautiful professional photo portfolio? Here's how I built mine. Let's go. Cover. First things first, you're gonna need to choose a size. 11 by 14 or 11 by 17 is normal. I went for 11 by 17. It's big, it's bold. And don't do eight by 10. This is about impact. You're not making postcards. Material. Mine was made by Lost Luggage. They make this awesome black paper resin. It's nice and hard. You hear that? That's durability. There's also acrylic, aluminum, bamboo, and some other options. Get what you like. The deep texture of the pressed paper is perfect. It has a natural feel while still being stealth. What do you want the cover to communicate? I want mine to say that I'm here to fucking work. The cover design took a while and a few iterations because I hate committing to things that will literally be carved in stone. Well, not literally stone, but you get it. Literally carved. I made this design because it's simple and bold with subtle, strong design. It's an aesthetic that reflects my work. Let's jump inside. Before choosing a paper, you've got to decide how the prints will be attached in the book. You've got three options, clear sleeves, individual prints with stick-on hinge strips, and scored and punched pages. That last one gives the cleanest look and takes the most work. Figures. That's the one I used. The first one looks bad. Don't do it. The second one can be okay, but I don't like it. Plus, I wanted to print double-sided, and the hinge strips stick on the back of the sheet and look bad with a double-sided print, so that's a no-go. Speaking of double-sided, not all paper prints double-sided, and not all paper is equal. Use good paper. Paper is important. Paper gives the book its feel. There are only so many options for good paper that prints double-sided. Moab makes two great options, Entrada Rag and LaSalle Photomat 235. I went with LaSalle. I think it looks bomb. If you plan on scoring your pages, it's best to avoid glossy paper because it doesn't score well. Stick with something that's at least a little bit matte. Trimmer. Next, prep the paper. You're going to have to cut the 13 by 19 sheets down to size. Exact size. Exact. No, like exact. Including space for the binding, that's 11 by 17 and 3 quarters. To do this, you'll need a trimmer. Cutting paper with an X-Acto knife and ruler isn't gonna cut it. It could in a pinch, but precision in this step is really important. Get a rotor trim. Perfect cuts every time. The cuts are so clean. I mean, listen. I love it. Scoring. To run paper all the way into the binding, you'll have to punch holes and score the sheets so they'll fold. For this, you're gonna need a scoreboard. No, not that kind of scoreboard. This kind. The kind that gives you hella good folds. Score your paper. Three lines at three quarter, seven eighths, and one inch. This will let the pages lay flat when open. Be careful not to tear the edges with the scoring bone. Move with patience and confidence. Punching. Now we've got to punch holes, and you guessed it, they also need to be exact. Make a hole punch template out of cardstock. Make sure it's perfect, then punch holes. Punching holes haphazardly means pages that don't line up on the edges. We didn't spend all that time cutting pages perfectly for nothing. Layout. Choosing photos to include in the layout is hard. There are no right answers, which makes it even harder. I printed double-sided because the paired photos adds another level to the work. I focused on aesthetically pleasing pairs. My subject matter doesn't fit into a perfect little box, but my aesthetic and style transcend. With strong pairings, each image lifts the other up. I want to communicate a feeling, not just individual images. Printer. Okay, the paper's ready. We know the layout, let's make some prints. You'll need a printer, ideally a decent one. I went with a Canon Pro 1000. Let's get printing. This takes time. You'll waste paper and ink. Get over it. You'll say a lot and ask yourself why you're doing this. Persist. Just print and print and print and print until it's done. And reprint the ones that aren't right. Then reprint those. Don't accept less than perfect. This isn't the time to get lazy. Now put those pages in the book. Screw on the cover. You're done.